Can we can we call you Teach? Sure. Here at Mama Billion. You're watching MamaBillion.com. I am Emily, hanging out with a few members from the district attorneys, Frank, Drew, and TJ. They're really hard to track down. Y'all are all over the place. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> tonight uh, that, that's usually just a good microcosm of us as people in a band we don't, but, uh, even, live, we don't even really live together we're hard to track each other down yeah. but um i mean Gloucester's playing tonight will johnson's hanging around we gotta follow him around and see what he's well, doing i was eating some ribs and some sausages yeah. Yeah. <laughs> those ribs were on point yes yes They're, oh man they were the truth smoky deliciousness smoky <laughs> deliciousness <laughs> And that's how we're going to describe women, wi women's Wiccan stock. I stopped, I stopped, that's how we're going to describe women tonight. I stopped drinking a while ago, and I don't know why I can't get my words right. However, um, district attorneys, the slow burner record is doing so well in Mobile because we're getting to play a lot of those tunes on the zoo. And um, well, we thank you all for that. Well, you know, we do what we can, but like the exposure with my Mobilian as well. Love you guys. Love, love, love. Do you have plans to come back soon? Yes, um, we're hoping to come back in March sometime on the way to Austin. You know what a perfect time to come back through would be? <laughs> Don't laugh at me. It would really be March 1st. Isn't that your birthday? That something? is my birthday. Uh, is, that, is that some sort of festival or something? No, no that's birthday. April. April. <laughs> okay. And you'll be back for that as well. Like, we're going to make it all happen. But yeah, We'll make it all happen. We'll always come back to Mobile. Oh, yes. That just got real over there. Yeah. <laughs> But no, March 1st, we'd love to have you guys back because um, I know so much is going on right now. You've been on the road. What are the plans for the rest of the year? Um, right now, I mean, we, we, we will leave our comfort, our nice little nest of Atlanta, Athens every once in a while. But right now, we're working on new songs. We're finishing working up on um, finishing the work on our, a new EP that TJ and Frank are recording and um, for us. And uh, that should be done in the beginning. We're should be really set in the beginning of December, like a little four-song, little taste tester before we actually, so we can remember what it is to write new songs, so then we can make a new album and really set next it's year. It's just a toe dip, a toe dip for new district attorney's yeah. material. Yeah. Okay, so you're not going to jump right in, you're just going to be that kid in the shower. Uh, we got, maybe. We got, okay. we got four songs, we're going like to see, see if we know how to write a song, and then uh, we'll, try, we'll try again if the EP's decent. If not, we'll just quit. <laughs> We're, we're, we're quitting it, writing music. If, if this EP flops, we'll become the a district attorneys are done. We'll be a sugar. We'll be a Sugar Ray cover band. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I just want to fly, baby. That's what happens. <laughs> she falls apart. <laughs> What's been your favorite moment at Wiggins? At Wiggins, um, I think it was actually the raffle that Glossary just did. That was amazing. That was yeah. Uh, doing shots with Dave Parsons of Mystery oh, yeah. Liquor. That, uh, literally, I, I don't know if there was yeah, alcohol we in them at all. It was straight. I, I loved it. After, immediately after, I was like, I wish I was that intelligent to just bring that on to people. There is this bottle of liquor that has a skull and crossbones on it inside. And we were told to stay away from that. Yeah, well, we didn't know we any better. Told. We didn't. Like, we, we picked it up and took a picture with it because we thought yeah, it looked neat. Well, and this lady walked by and was like, I, "No." Well, you get it, and you're like, "Oh, well, this is just like you know, 90 proof whiskey or something." And no, I don't even know if there was booze we in it. It was just straight it. up pepper sauce, and it literally tore apart my insides. Well, Chris, we, had, we had to chug milk after this. Chris and I, Chris and I live in Athens. Chris, our drummer. I mean, we live in Atlanta. We drove from Atlanta to here after we had after work and we got we were the last people here and I was like you gotta take this and we're like I was like what is this and I literally was in that schedule I was like what is it and they go it's rum I look at the bottle and it's going crossbones and rum pirates all that so I was like oh okay that's so it's rum something that Captain Jack Sperry exactly. would have given you so the skull and crossbones didn't do anything they didn't warn me about anything and it just it was disgusting I almost died but I'm alive now you need to try it just to say you have it's there's no, there's no other way to explain yeah. it except just, just doing it. Well, I suppose we'll have to do that here in a moment. Are y'all down to try it again or no? No, no, <laughs> no. 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 You go ahead and do it. That's like when somebody opens up something like, oh god, this stinks. Smell this. Well, like, hey, will you smell this? Is this smell good? Is this milk good to you? No, I don't no. want to know. If this no, so you go good. into it just like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know. Well, no. maybe we shouldn't have told you all about it. We should have just you should taken have just, you in you there. You should have just sit here. Yeah, and like, it's they should have just brought it to the interview like, right Yes, now. yes. 
Mom, you gotta take a shot with it. Like, wah, wah. Yeah, the interview wouldn't have happened then. It sounds like. <laughs> have been the end. Yeah, been the the end. Interview. You're crying like we were last <laughs> night for probably 45 minutes immediately afterwards. It, uh, my body has never reacted like that to anything. Oh, my lands. Immediate tears and hiccups. That's quite a combination, though. I don't think I've ever had immediate tears exactly. and hiccups. Exactly. It, like, what else would do that to you? Uh, immediate no tears, hiccups, and absolute want for a gallon of milk. Yep. That's the name of our new EP that we're working on, actually. <laughs> we wanted to bring that back around. I was starting and headed somewhere with that. Yeah, the new EP. When are, when are we putting the new EP out? December 7th. Oh, December 4th. 4th. Yeah. December 4th. December 4th. I just became the uh, interviewer. That's right. right. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm just going to... So, guys. I wish I just had, like, a boom mic. So like, <laughs> Please buy our free EP. <laughs> uh, oh, here's the drummer. <laughs> oh, the drummer has... Uh, Hey. Hey. What's Chris, up? right? Yes, ma'am. I'm Emily. Hey, Emily. Thanks for coming to our little interview. Yeah, well. He's very excited because Georgia won the yes, football very game. Excited. That is that is final. Oh, it's very final. It win. Yeah, so. Oh, it's final. It's quite final. final. Yeah. Emily. Sorry, man. I've been enjoying some but jams. But check out this amazing apparel. Oh, yeah. That our drummer is wearing. Look at this. Turn around. Turn around. Now. Yes. <laughs> the Phoenix rises. The Phoenix. It's real fancy. <laughs> what are we talking about? Uh, did, did, were you in on those skull and crossbone shots? Oh my god. So they have a name? Ghost Pepper? Uh, I thought they were just tears and hiccup uh, shots. We still, we yeah, still was, know what they were. Well, the first, how it went was, so we took it and I should have noticed something weird was happening when everyone was staring at us. So I, I took it thinking I was going to be alright and then I turn around and look at Drew. <laughs> And the first thing he says to me, he's got, like, I see a, a full tear come down. And he looks at me and he goes, I just don't understand what's happening. <laughs> and I couldn't even respond. I was just like, <sighs> yeah. So that was our introduction, I guess, to Wigginstock. I didn't enjoy it. We got in the car and left, like, ten we minutes there. later. We went there we went to bed. And we yeah. all cried. Yeah, I was very Snuggling upset. and crying. Today was and much hiccuping. better. Yeah, today was better because I haven't, see I haven't seen and Polly's and Waterdale and got to play with uh, Jeff with the Flint Hill specials and got to see Glossary and getting ready to see some Centromatic. And we demanded a song and they apparently are going to oblige, which is, is all that matters. Is this the one that you said you would cut their tires if they didn't play? Yeah, yeah. patience for the ride. They better. I actually talked to Matt and he said he, they might not play it just to see if we would follow through with that, that slashing tires, just see how committed we are to the cause. Which is, you know, the ball's in his court, so that's that's his choice. Back to Atlanta if he wants. That's as far as wherever the hell they're from you can get. I don't know where they're from. <laughs> Are they from Texas? I don't know. I just know they're right. Denton, Texas, man. Denton, yes, Texas. Yes, they're driving the other way. Denton, Texas. By the way, Jay, you know uh, what the guy from Lauderdale sounds like? I don't even know his name. Niles. He sounds like uh, Jason Molina. Yes, he does. He does. Who's that? Exactly. Good country. All right. Uh, Magnolia Electric Company, Songs yeah. Ohio. He's done stuff with Will from Centromatic. So. And they sound similar. Yeah. Their and voices. Definitely. That's that's a very that's in, very indirect. We're really not but, uh, yeah. What we've got some a member of Some Dark Holler that just decided to come over and hang out and holler at us. I just love bright lights. Yeah. <laughs> like a moth to a light. Right. No. Exactly yeah. like that. Like a moth to a light. <laughs> Helen. Everyone, everyone so in cyberspace. Does the interview go? You hold up the microphone and see who decides to talk, or you ask I some questions. The yeah. way that it's worked at Wiggins is that we just start talking, and people say things like, like tears it. and hiccups, <laughs> and, hiccups. <laughs> and please buy our free EP. Yes. Oh, yeah, you buy it? No, no, no. Yeah. I'm talking about our, <laughs> our, up, <laughs> you it yet. our upcoming, our, our upcoming free EP. You must buy our upcoming free EP. Must be bought. Also, look December forward 4th. to uh, the entire Wigginstock being uploaded oh, yeah. somewhere. T TJ and Frank, uh, TJ record the every single set, so we're going to do something. Every He's song that has been played at Wigginstock is recorded and ready to be rocked on the interwebs. Yeah. Lovely. Yes. Yeah. Good job on you, sir. Good job. Cookie. It's not just me. You it's should a get team a cookie. Effort. You should get a cookie of some sort. I think. I'm in agreement. Oh. I haven't seen any cookies. A Goo Goo Cluster cookie? A Goo Goo Cluster can count as a cookie. Yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, to buy this free EP, uh, you, w one should probably visit thisisamericanmusic.com, of course. Dot com. <laughs> or go fuck yourself. <laughs> can we say that on the air? Yes. I just like that you did all the old man noises first. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You see that movie yet? It's a good one. 
Well, uh, so how, what do y'all think about Homeland? That's good show. Homeland's a great <laughs> show. Good show. We can do this for hours. Great realize, show. Right? We can just talk. Claire Danes is a shit. I never thought, crazy, you know, she's crazy. She's a crazy bitch. When I was in middle school, <laughs> when I was in middle school, I was like Claire Danes. Why is this girl even in my face? But like. Where for out? Where for art thou, Claire Danes? Exactly. <laughs> I didn't. Th- I didn't. I never thought. And now you're. Now you're on, fucking, crazy pills. I never thought that I would respect Claire Danes, but Claire Danes is actually I the boss. Yeah, she does awesome. cry too much. Though. But to the three years ago, she wasn't that cool. She was like in uh, that movie with Billy Crudup, where she was a man. But how is she? No, getting, no. How she, she want to arrest some dude? Did, that oh, she's you will not like Billy Crudup once you realize you know who Billy Crudup was. Got pregnant, I, Mary Louise Parker, your girl oh, from Weeds, and then she left him for Claire Danes. He, he, <laughs> he left her, her for, for Claire Danes. He left her for Claire Danes while she was like eight months pregnant. Right, he left Mary Louise Parker, who was pregnant, for Claire Danes, and then uh, he, then Claire Danes married that uh, British uh, Nancy uh, Hugh Dancy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Robin, but we're gonna cut all this shit unless y'all are really, really famous. We got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well then you're gonna cut it. You yeah, pretty, pretty much seen what we got. <laughs> this is all we got. We got Claire Danes and. I have to go Morgan. press record for Centromatic right now. And Julie yeah. Bowen. Yeah, oh, Julie hey, Bowen's good too. Mod Mobilian. Yes. There you go. Mod! Rock and roll. Wow. M for Mod. Alright, well, that just <laughs> happened. The district attorneys. We love them. You're watching modmobilian.com. <laughs>